When you are troubled and anxious, have you perhaps faced the most critical moment in your life? Could be a job interview, could be your life and death situation. Perhaps you could be about to get married, the most anticipated moment. Or probably you are stuck with a crowd of high achievers in society and feeling like nobody. You lost your loved ones and there's nobody out there for you. What would you do? I would say the best thing is to laugh. And to laugh as loud as possible if you could. <laughs> oh, you could be laughing wild. The well known historical figure, the laughing Buddha, was a Buddhist monk from. Eastern China is called Hotei in Japan, and he worked out this technique by first understanding the transient and impermanent nature of our life and the world. And apparently, he has learned it from small children. And in my case, I learned it from my son, not the only when he was a child. Even after he's grown up, he's become a young man, because he's differently abled. Not because he's able to some skills that human society after the demanding skills, but he's able to enjoy how laughable the world is. Laughter is regarded as the best medicine by a lot of health skills. Even Lettrop University says that it's not a joke, so they came up with a cause called after precedence and the being. And the research shows that laughter stimulates many organs in our body, activates and relieves our stress response and soothes tension, and in long term, it improves our. Immune system. But there, of course, are many obstacles for us to having them, having them laughter. Let us look at the easier ones. When you're stressed and when you're anxious, could you laugh? Absolutely. <laughs> laugh. When you are despaired, frustrated, Laugh. Of course. Laugh. Or when you find it is out of your character, people might be thinking, oh, you know, the one who's sulking and it's not what you do. Just laugh. <laughs> what if the others see you as mad? It's eccentric. It's nuts. Well, you still laugh, but if you want to control <coughs> if it's at work or school, you keep laughing quietly. What if you're feared when you're under attack? Oh, when you're horrified with things, when threatened and unjustified when challenged, 
or when you're disgusted, and when you're angry. Challenge you. But you could still laugh. <laughs> How about if there are deeply internalized emotions, like when you're sad? How do you laugh when you lost somebody, you lost loved ones, or you lost your things? Or even when you're made to feel guilty and ashamed, how dare you laugh when you cause problems or cause pain to other people? Or how do you laugh when people go through miseries? How dare you laugh? Well, I think if that's, that's where the laughing because technique comes in. You think of the laughability of life and the world because you start with yourself. You think how impermanent your own body, your own mind, your own person. How laughable you are. You can laugh. <laughs> How do you laugh, especially in circumstances? If you are engaged seriously in things in life. For instance, say your house, the roof's going to collapse. <laughs> uh, and there's storms and wind cause problems. And you're holding your roof. <laughs> you're support that thing. Could you laugh? <laughs> serious situation, oh yeah, work with your serious you know, commitments. Could you laugh? You could still laugh, but in control. <laughs> so, getting back to the basics, when you're troubled, when you're upset, what do you do? I would say the best thing is to laugh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>